The fight song was a welcome wake-up call as Northwestern fans filled Franklin Tap to watch their cats dance. Certainly this is the first time in school history that they've gone two years in a row. They went back in 2017, which was a first. I don't know if we were really sure if they were going to make it ever back, and they did. So it's fantastic. Everybody's motivated. I'm a season ticket holder. I've enjoyed the Cats all year long. It's so nice. I mean, it's excited. Two consecutive years is a historic. Um, it's also great for emotional support. Sometimes it can be tough being a Northwestern fan, so having other people that understand it. Uh, we can celebrate together. We can cry together or both, you know, so really excited for that. Regularly cheering the Cats in March has been a long time coming. Remember, Northwestern sat on the outside of the tournament for 78 years, but now advancing to the second round for the third time in seven seasons, more than proof the cats belong. This is only the third time we've ever been in the tournament, so it's a fantastic accomplishment to uh, to win, now win three games in the in the tournament. It's great. It feels like we're finally getting respect. We're a basketball school, and actually we are now. So I mean, the, changing the culture and so much investment's been put into the program. Our student athletes are amazing, top caliber. So just seeing the all their efforts pay off is really just a beautiful thing to see. Are you calling it now, Northwestern in the final? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, without a doubt, Northwestern in the final. <laughs> Purple Kool-Aid will again be served Sunday as Northwestern plays for more history. Looking for their first trip to the Sweet 16. Dancing with the Wildcats, Dion Miller, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.